Hi. Hi, Sophia. <laughs> you guys, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a baby update, a one year update. She's currently one year and one month. Yay. And I'm going to be telling you guys about, you know, what she eats, what, you know, products I use for her, how she's meeting her milestones, how she is generally. Last time I did an update, she was four months. So now it's time for us to do a one year update. Okay. For the miracle baby, the special baby. <laughs> Why are you shy? <laughs> the special baby I got from God. If you guys know my story, you know that I wasn't planning to get pregnant. Actually, I went from being, from battling unexplained infertility for four years. And then I had my first child, and then I had my second child, and then miraculously, while preventing pregnancy, I actually got pregnant with this beautiful damsel here. I don't know why she's shy. Um, yeah, so I basically went from not being able to get pregnant to getting pregnant when I sneeze, you know? <laughs> we thank the Lord for that. So yeah, this is Sophia, and her middle name is Chidera. So once God has written, and one year after, she's doing so well. She's meeting all her milestones. She's, she's very intelligent. This, this child is actually a very intelligent child, very smart. You know, she plays really well. I call her an intense baby. And that's because <laughs> when she wants to laugh here, yeah, this baby laughs with so much intensity. She laughs like an adult, okay? She laughs with so much. In fact, and she seeks out laughter. Like she wants you to do funny things. She wants you to make her laugh, you know? That's the kind of baby that she is, okay? But on the flip side, if this child wants to cry for you here, oh, 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 if this child cries for you here, eh? Do you know, one time my neighbor told me that when they heard her crying, they thought she had fallen from a table. First of all, that's a very weird, you know, imagination or whatever. But <laughs> that's to tell you how seriously she was crying. And what were we doing for her? We we're just changing her diaper, okay? And she was crying with such intensity. So, yeah, she's very, very expressive, you know. When she's happy, everybody knows that she's happy. And when she's sad, you can't miss it, okay? You can't, you can't miss it. <laughs> yes yeah she bubbles a lot she likes to talk a lot you guys will soon hear her talking she's still shy i don't know why she's even shy i she's seen anybody uh -huh. yeah so she talks a lot um she just started school so she started school on monday and so far so good she has been doing well she doesn't really cry that much when i drop her off in the morning but throughout the day at some point she cries you know either when they're feeding her or when she starts missing me or something but according to her teacher she's just crying normal baby cry it's not like some babies that when you bring to school they cry throughout you know so yeah i'm happy about that she's really adjusting well um the only thing that i would say she hasn't really met up with at this point it's not like she's late but she's not as early as most kids is that she isn't working yet okay this child is a very lazy child okay when it comes to that she's not working yet but i'm not bothered because at this age Cora wasn't working as well, so I'm not bothered. Like, I didn't teach her to crawl, so the day she's ready, she's gonna get up and she's gonna walk, okay? Um, yes, but right now she crawls really well and she's, you know, she bleeds herself up and then she holds things and walks around while holding things, okay? But on her own, just walking on her own, she's not there yet, but no hurries, I'm not in a rush because when she starts walking now, another issue, another wahala, we start running after her. So I, I'm not really bothered, I'm, I'll be ready, I'm ready when she's ready, okay? But besides that, she plays really well, she loves her sisters, she loves talking to her father on the phone, like she's really a very happy, She's really a very happy baby. She's really a very pleasant baby. Like, she's a sweet girl, okay? When you say somebody is a sweet girl, this is a sweet girl, okay? So now, about what she eats, okay? Because this child is currently 12.5 kg. I didn't weigh her today, but like when I weighed her last week, when I was filling her form for school, she is currently 12.5 kg, you guys. Like, that's a lot, first of all, for a girl, and for a girl that is one year plus. That's part of why the fact that she's not working sometimes is annoying because you have to carry her up and down. <laughs> you know, you have to carry her everywhere, anywhere. And carrying 12.5 kg is not really easy on the hands. Um, but yeah, um, what she eats, right now she eats basically what we eat in the house. She eats basically everything, okay? Anything we are eating, we put for her and she eats it. Well, with a few exceptions. It's not like she won't even eat, but she might not eat as much. Um, we just try to mash her food and make most of her food baby friendly so things like things that are too hard or things that are too chunky we mash it you know for her to eat um yeah 
but aside you know normal foods the what she eats most of the time is actually pap okay this girl drinks pap a lot a lot <laughs> you know and the pap that you know i give her is sima pap if you've been watching me i have shown you the pap several times but you can i'll put her link in the description box sima special pap you can look for her on instagram i buy different types of pap from her like she has pap with different um flavors that's what i'll call it different types of pap okay or well, different flavors of pap so i just buy basically all the flavors that you know are child friendly that's something that's for adults i buy all the child friendly flavors and sophia loves them and for milk the milk she drinks is sma pro stage okay. three um i love sma i use it for my kids i use it for cora is for ever that's sma pro that's one i basically go for so i use it for cora is for ever um yeah i've not really had any reason to want to try other milks yeah because it works for me and when i did my research it was the best it was one of the best milks in the market she doesn't take any form of sweetener it's just the milk and the pap that she drinks okay she also takes cereals the two cereals she takes are friso gold and cerelac okay um yeah i that's the only one i try for her like you guys i'm very lazy when it comes to trying different things for kids once something works for them i'm like that's it <laughs> i'm done i don't even i'm not even curious about other kinds of you know um foods for her um yeah i tried geba for her when she was you know much younger but she didn't really like it so i stopped giving her geba so basically it's serilac and friso gold that she takes what else and she also has some little little snacks here and there geba snacks so they are yogurt melts they are actual yogurt and you know they have some wafers and titin cheese cheese it or something like that not cheese it some cheese snacks or whatever so but the two that she loves the most are geba yogurt and geba yogurt melt so that's what i give her um as snacks then sometimes she drinks juice as well like homemade juice when i make juice for my for the family basically she drinks well she doesn't have a problem with it she actually likes juice a lot so anytime i make juice for the house i give her a cup full and she finishes everything um yeah she still drinks milk once in a while but not as often as when she was younger right now her main source of milk is inside her cereal and her pap and then when it comes for skincare products she has beautiful skin but her skin is a little bit dry so what really works for us right now is the chico bath foam so she uses chico bath foam you know we bath her with chico bath foam then we use um cetaphil body cream and then we top it up with shea butter i have this i bought i get this shea butter from i'll leave the name of the shea butter on the screen i just the name just skipped my head now but i've shown you guys before okay so that's what works with right now for her skin so it's not as dry as it used to be and i still bath her once a day okay yes yeah, she still has a bath only once a day at night in the morning we just wipe her down and then dress her up but when she comes back after all the debt has accumulated throughout the day at night we give her a proper bath and you know moisturize her really well i also moisturize her in the morning even though she hasn't had a bath i just rub a little bit of um the whipped shea butter on her just so that she's not too dry some people have asked me how I managed to make her hair because she has tender scalp. In fact, it's more than just tender scalp. She's actually averse to making of hair. She doesn't like making her hair at all, okay? So what I do for her is when she's sleeping, I make her hair while she's sleeping, especially on, you know, someone's back. So somebody will back her and then I'll make her hair, okay? But she doesn't have a problem with spray water. So if I spray water on the hair, if I want to put, you know, detangler or leave-in conditioner and all of that, she doesn't have a problem with it. What she has a problem with is bringing comb to her hair, okay? That's why some people will say the child is dada. She's not dada anything. <laughs> not dada anything. She just doesn't like it. Um, but I still try. And her hair is doing so well. She has really long hair. For her, for her age, I feel like her hair is longer than her sibling's hair, okay? For her age. So she has really long, thick, nice hair. So I love it for her. Oh yeah, come on, carry Sophia. Yeah. Yeah, talk to her. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Hey, Della. Mm. Say hi. Mm. 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 Just look at her. Look at, just look at this. Beauty. Look at her laughs. <laughs> See her laughs. Mm. 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 Dance. Eh, 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 bye i had to let her go because she was talking a lot but she'll be back soon okay so yeah her sleeping habit she sleeps so well um her last meal for now is 9 p.m before it was 10 p.m but now it's 9 p.m i'm thinking of you know taking it back to 7 p.m not taking it back i'm thinking of just keeping it at 7 p.m when her siblings have their own you know dinner as well because 
yeah that eating at 9 p.m is actually a lot but yeah she sleeps all night she doesn't wake up for anything it's only when she's restless that she wakes up and wants to tap her or you know pat her she will lie down back or when she confirms that you are there because for me she used to confirm that i'm there or she will raise her hand like this if she touches my body she will sleep off from there okay so when she confirms that, that i'm there or you know when i tap her then she sleeps back okay yeah so that's part of why i just left her dinner time at where it was because i was thinking that her dinner time was you know adding to the fact that she slept well all night because she was eating really late but now that i think about it i think that i can actually you know take her dinner time back to either 8 p.m or 7 p.m and she'll be fine all night as well so i'm going to try that in the next week or so let's see how it goes if i try it and she wakes up in the night i'll have to move it back to 9 or 10 p.m because i don't want anybody to wake me up in the night okay i'd rather sleep late than to wake up in the night she also naps twice during the day around 10 30 11 a.m and around 2 3 p.m as well so that works really well for us because um, it means that whenever I go to pick her from school, she has already had her first nap and then when she comes back shortly after she has her lunch and everything, then she naps, she has a second nap, okay? And when she has a second nap is when I also send my other kids to go and sleep. So in the afternoon, the house is always very peaceful because all of them are sleeping and then when they wake up, we continue the drama okay <laughs> health wise she's perfect she doesn't have any health issues even though she has fallen sick you know from time to time basically the way normal kids fall sick as well she has had malaria once i think and then she had um an infection as well but the infection went you know then sometimes once in a while she gets catar and cough like you know all, basically all the kids get as for breast milk she still takes breast milk once in a while because I have breast milk stored. I still have a couple of bags of breast milk left. So I give her once in a while, sometimes once a week, sometimes once in two weeks. Anytime I remember, because I usually forget that I have breast milk. You know, anytime I remember, I still give her the breast milk. But right now we still have a couple left. So maybe in the next one or two months, they'll be completely finished. But she eats really well. Even when I make my concussion, like I blend ginger, garlic, add lemon, add orange and pineapple. When I make that juice, she drinks it, no problems, okay? She eats pepper. Even though when it's too much, she'll be, she'll, be, <laughs> she'll be hot and she'll be looking for water to drink, but she'll still eat too. But yeah, so I, I try not to give her food that has pepper. But if for some reason the pepper in the food is not really a problem because she will still eat it. Um, which is basically opposite of what people say about breastfed babies. They're always like, ah, breastfed babies don't like eating normal food. Breastfed babies take time to eat. Breastfed babies this and that. It's a big lie, okay? Ava was exclusively breastfed for six months and I breastfed her till she was almost a year. Ava eats everything and anything. Transitioning her from, you know, breast milk to food wasn't really a problem. Same thing with Sophia. Maybe it took her like a few days to adjust, but she was fine, okay? Yeah, I think I've covered basically everything. She's up to date with her immunization. Um, yeah, so from time to time, I'm going to let you guys know her progress with when she starts working and all of that. But for right now, that is it. She's fine. She's healthy. She's strong. She's beautiful. She's happy. She's living her best life, okay? She's living the good life. So I'm really grateful to God for giving us the strength and the provision to be able to take care of her very well. Because yeah, this is an unplanned child. So it's not easy for families to adjust when they have a child that they didn't really plan for but for us the adjustment was seamless in fact all things work together for our good okay because as she came to main doors started opening you know more provision more more rest of mind more hands on deck okay god gave me amazing people that can help me out you know to, to raise her and all of that so anyway that's it for today's video okay <laughs> I think I've ended this video like 100 times already. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you have more questions about her, please leave them in the comment section. I'm going to try and answer any questions you have about my special baby, Sophia. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.